What's up guys? Welcome back to the EVS Motors video. I am Haywood. Ever since I did my video on PPF versus ceramic coating, I talked about how clear bras or PPF can take more physical damage than coatings. So I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys asking me to to show that if possible. So I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a video today and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take clear bra and I'm going to put on a sample and I'm gonna beat the crap out of it and just show you guys the damage it can take just so you have a better idea. Okay, so the clear bra is on. I've let it cure for as long as I can, but I'm really impatient, so I wouldn't get going with it anyways. So if you see any of these water bubbles, don't worry about it, they'll evaporate later. So I thought about what we're gonna use to damage the hood with, right? And I wanna do things that you probably may encounter and things that are a little bit more realistic. So what I have in mind are these things. Spray paint, keys, screwdriver, the cement pole thingy, barrier, a rough curb, since I can't really simulate rock chips because you know I'm not I can't throw that fast. I'm just gonna drop rocks on the hood. First thing first, spray paint. I know it's hard to see it, but the finish is matte black. If I had any other color, I would do it. Okay, so we have the matte black right here, this blotch here. In the meantime, we'll move on to the next one. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using uh, car keys. I figure this is probably the most common thing that people are used to vandalize. That was fun. Okay, so here's some piercing motions where more like a, I'm jabbing into it. And then in there I also have like the little the little uh, stabbing ones here. Next one I'm gonna do is a flathead. As I, as I figure the screwdriver did way more damage than the key did. Um, everything is just much more emphasized as you can see. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to simulate rock chips. I mean, this is really, this is massive. This is bigger than, <laughs> this is pretty much bigger than any rock you'll have flying in your car. They're way too big, but. So let me show you the damage in right here, right here, right here. That one is dented in. So I, most rock chips don't even dent your paint. Gives an idea how hard I hit it. All right, so the next step we're gonna do is now we're gonna test it against that cement pole barrier. It's more accidental than intentional. So I'm gonna try to simulate someone is driving and they're not paying attention. Oh, oh no! Oh. This is the damage from that barrier. One more test. Oh. Wow, I really messed that up. All right. So before I peel it, I just wanna show you guys how messed up this clear bra looks from all the damage. And again, keep in mind, we really went at this. Obviously, most people aren't gonna have vandalism on the clear bra, but I just kinda wanna show you as close to a worst case scenario as I possibly could, just so then you have an idea. Time to peel it all off. Oh. All right guys, so this is the clear bra removed completely off. So the spray paint did nothing to the paint. It didn't go through, so we're good with that. The car keys, again, nothing with that as well, no issues. The screwdriver, surprisingly didn't do anything either. We really don't notice any damage until we got to the rock throwing chip here. So one right here, I believe that's it. Also, that's not as strong as the metal that's on the car or the hoods. Right. So that's got a ding, that's just a thin shoot out of the it's cut in the shape of a hood, but as you can see, it's not the same thickness of an actual panel on a car. It's a lot thinner. So what dents this won't necessarily dent what's actually on your car. So I am really impressed the fact that I threw at it some pretty oversized rocks and all it did was create this little speck here and this little speck here. After that, we got the barrier, right, where I kind of went all over it. Surprisingly, none of that went through the film, so that was good. The last test we did was on the curb when I just was just scraping this against that broken curb and all that left was this little scratch here and that was it you guys saw this whole area was just cut up the film was actually cut up to see that all left was just a little piece here is impressive because keep in mind i went back and forth on that and in most situations typically what happens is if you hit a curb like that you don't go back and forth you know you just go through it one time probably stop after you hear something and you stop to examine the situation so really impressive i mean you guys saw how damaged that was so overall this is how the hood looks Again, very impressed considering how much damage we, we put on it. 
So hopefully this helps you guys, give you guys an idea what kind of damage Clear Rock can take. Again, it's not meant to be a invincible shield. It's meant to be a sacrificial layer of protection. So what that means is that this is meant to take the damage or most of the damage so that hopefully your paint doesn't have to. Ooh. So as you guys can see, there's a scuff on this Tesla Model S mirror and it's not looking too bueno. Normally we'd be a lot more worried for the client if this was actually a normal situation. However, this mirror has been clear brought, so we're gonna try to remove the clear bra right now and see how much of this damage actually went through the clear bra or if the film protected the paint after all. Normally something like this would have damaged the paint for sure. Definitely would have scuffed it at the very least. Not sure if it would need to be repainted, but definitely paint corrected. Uh, let's see how it looks with the film off. Okay, so far so good. It's coming off with the film. Ooh, I think it's, I think it's taking away. Oh, nice. There's nothing on the mirror. The film took all the damage. Okay, so look at this bumper. So we cleared out the full front end, right? It looks nice and clean, right? The bumper looks good. But come along with me. Come along with me. Everything looks good. And then boom! Look at this damage, guys. So the client scraped against, I don't know, maybe a barrier or something. And it just completely damaged the clear bra on the entire left side. So for sure, it cut through here, right? We see that. And there's even damage down here as well. This whole part is just scuffed. Like crazy. How much damage can clear bra take, right? How much damage can this little film do for me? We're gonna remove the film on the clear bra. We're gonna put a new one on. I'm gonna show you what's underneath the... Oh, dude. I'm gonna show you what's underneath the clear bra once we peel it off and that way you guys can have an idea. It's like I'm behind the scenes, but I'm still in front of the camera, so it's like I'm in front of the scenes. Alright guys, so the clear bra is completely off on the front bumper. I'm just to show you guys to see there's no film. This is what it looks like with the damaged clear bra off. Ready? <laughs> Isn't this crazy guys? There is no damage on the bumper, on the actual bumper with the clear bar taken off. So you guys can see this part was damaged too, right? We haven't, we haven't removed this part yet, but I just want to show you the main bumper piece. As you guys can see, there is no damage anywhere. The clip bar took all the damage. Even the part that was cut it is completely perfect. But what really matters is the fact that your paint is intact and there's no damage to it. Especially if your paint has metallic flakes in it. Repainting that is gonna cost a lot of money and a lot of time. Save your paint, get a wrap. Tesla Model X is in today. Uh, the whole car is completely clear broad and the cool thing with this is perfect for like daily mishaps if anything were to occur. Shopping carts bumping into this, you know, people banging in doors, whatever, door dings. We have a prime example of that. So this whole door is clear broad. As you can see, the clear right here is damaged, has cut through the film. We're gonna be replacing this, but I figured I'd show you what it looks like now before we peel it off. So you can see how much damage actually transferred through to the paint. Same thing on the passenger side too. I'm not surprised, these doors go up, so they do hit things. So there's a cut here as you can see and there's also a bigger one right there I'm curious to see how much actually went through oh. Oh. Hmm. whoa nice no damage so all that we saw was the adhesive no damage whatsoever guys really nice. can save your car but you know what clear I can't save the tigers Dustin the tigers. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. All right, so this side now. So we got this one to see, and we also got this one to see. see. Boom, nothing, it's gone. Wow, it's, there's no, yeah, no damage at all whatsoever. Tesla Model X is in. We actually clear bought this entire car about two years ago. So the reason why we have this car in is because as you see right here, the clear bra got damaged. So I assume this probably happened maybe like hitting something, door opening, hitting something, which is pretty typical. So we're gonna be replacing it since this is ripped and torn through. I wanna show you guys what it looks like before we take off the clear bra, to just show you how much of the paint underneath it is protected or is actually kept safe. Actual people, not real guys. Hey, okay, what I said, we're playing private matches on Pull, Dustin, pull! Alright, so we're gonna clean the adhesive off. Mm. 
There's nothing. Wow, there's nothing. It's gone. It's all gone. To be honest, this is kind of what I expected. <laughs> We've done these enough to know, but it's always surprising to see though. It's actually all gone. No dent, no scuff, no scratch, no paint flake. It's literally like nothing happened. 